Hey guys, so now I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a knowledge base to your AIR agent so that you can fill it with rebuttals and answers to common questions that people may have. This way your agent knows exactly how to respond to these questions and these objections and it can increase conversions and drive up sales a lot if your bot is not just making things up on the spot and instead it's actually giving coherent answers that you gave it and that you know work from your top salespeople right now. So the first step is you're going to navigate into the create section and then go to knowledge bases. So I'll just show you guys that real quick. So you go here, you press knowledge bases, and then you can make a new knowledge base. So I'm going to go into this one. And now there's two different ways you can add cards to the knowledge base. You can do upload documents or manually add FAQ flashcards. So the upload documents is definitely what I'd recommend unless you're only doing like three. But if you're doing any more than that, I'd recommend this. You All you need to do is just get a Google Doc or a Microsoft Word document and put a question and then type out the question. Then under that, put answer or A and then type out the answer. It doesn't have to be formatted perfectly. Just put A colon blah, blah, blah. That's all you need to do. So you make a list of maybe 20 of them, more if you have, as many as you possibly can come up with and have good rebuttals for. And then you're just going to save the document as a doc or a PDF, and then you can go to upload documents, select and upload the file right from your computer. So it's really that easy. And then it's going to go and separate them into all kinds of different flashcards. You're going to have all the answers and all the questions. Now the second way of doing this is manually add FAQ flashcards. So I'm going to show you that real quick. So I'll say, what is the price of this? So then we'll type, we create custom pricing solutions for our clients, but our average client pays, we'll say a thousand dollars. We'll say solution. Okay. So now we created this. So here's what it's going to look like. Now, every time somebody asks something similar to what is the price, it will give a similar response to this. So I'm going to explain to you how that works real quick. The bot does not have all the flashcards you give it in its mind all the time. Instead, while it's having the conversation with your prospect, it's going to pull the three to five most relevant cards up to the front where it can see them. So if you're having a conversation that's related to money, it's going to pull this card as an example up because the card is not searched on keywords, it's searched on meaning. Which means if you're talking about money, it doesn't say money anywhere in here. That keyword is not in this flashcard, but because it has the same meaning, it's going to pull it up as one of those three to five cards. So if you have, let's say, 30 cards, it's always going to have the top relevant cards. They keep switching. It's always going to have the top relevant cards up in its knowledge base so that it can give those answers, give those rebuttals when it needs to. So you can think of it as a sales agent that has a script that's in front of him, and then it has the three to five most relevant cards at any time during the talk right in front of him. And just like a salesperson would, it's not going to give the exact answer. It's going to give an answer that relates to what they're talking about, but follows that same general outline. So it will still say $1,000 and pricing solutions, but it might say it in a different way that makes more sense in that context. So the reason knowledge bases are so important is because without having these rebuttals and without having these answers to all these questions, the bot is just going to make it up. It's going to say, something very general. If they say, what is the price? The bot might say, oh, we changed the price a lot. Or it might say, it really depends on what your needs are. Something very general. But a lot of people don't like that. So if you give it an exact number, this is just one example. You can do any questions you want. And of course, you can always go in and edit them and delete them if you want to. But if you don't have these answers and rebuttals, your conversions are going to drop a lot. So make sure you get this done. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I would really appreciate if you sign up for the free advanced air account with the link in my description. It's going to give you priority calling. It's going to give you dedicated servers. It's going to give you priority air support, access to new features. You're going to be able to connect to go high level. You're going to be able to use the API. There's so many features that you only get through that link, and it would help me as well. So I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching.